Oh my goodness. Yeah, where is Nova when you need her? Jeez. I don't know, man. I can't. Yeah, I'm having problems. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to internet. I just know how to like post something and say something like into my phone and like call people. That's it. I don't know any any. Uh... He's still wiping. Hold on. All right. It's good to see you guys. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is, I believe, 725. Smash that like button if you're in here. Uh, smash the like button. Get that thing cracking. No, I didn't figure shit out. You can't tell me what to do. You ain't even my real dad. I don't know how this live might be affected by uh, my lack of knowledge of how to go live. There's only 147 people in here. The other night we had this, we had a shit ton of people in here. I don't know if it's taking a minute to build up. I'm fro- am I froze? It is Titty Tuesday. Okay, so we're not froze, so that's good. What's up, everybody? I'm just gonna start talking. It says there's only 200 people in here, which is really weird, right? We were just up in here the other day, it was 1,500, so I'm just gonna go crazy. Titties. Uh, I look frozen. Smash that like button, guys, if you're in here. Titties. I saw it again. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'll just start talking about stuff. Fuck it. Okay, the Brave 2. Me and Tom's new project that we put out, uh, we're trying to make that thing number one in all genres. And if it does become that, uh, I will give away my Cadillac to a veteran that is in need. Uh, I would like to give it away to a combat veteran. I know those guys have seen hell. And, uh, you know, it's not about the car. You know what? To be real, guys, um... Even if we don't get number one, I'm still going to give that away to a combat veteran or just a veteran in need that uh, is on rough times. Um, but I'm just trying to give like initiative to... I'm just basically saying I will I will push and, and try my hardest to give anything to make our album the biggest thing that we could possibly do it. You know? And, uh, and if I get to help someone on the way there, that's pretty cool too. So... I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you guys can see me. I hope we hit number one. Also, uh, if the Brave 2 hits number one, uh, Tom will be releasing 10 unreleased songs, titties, that he's never uh, released before. So 10 unreleased songs by Tom that no one's ever heard, Cadillac that goes to a veteran, and they're going to have the title in hand. So they can take that title, they can sell the car, they can keep it. I got the original wheels for it. I can take... To the wrap off for it. I don't want to donate it to a, um, I don't want to, I don't want to donate it to like a veteran charity or any type of charity because a lot of those charities are, are bullshit and, uh, they don't give the money to who it's supposed to go to, right? Like I'd rather give it right to the person that needs it. Why are we stuck at 476 people in here? We were just at over a thousand right when I came in, an hour and a half of that. Okay, 520. We got to build this thing up. Um, so smash that, smash that like button. Yeah, we're at 520. We need to build this. I need, I need to go crazy in here. I think it's because I went live like 15 times. And I think it's people are fatigued here because I just went live 15 times in the last five minutes. Five minutes, because I don't know what I'm doing. 
Uh, hit the like button, I guess. Run that mother, mother lover. Uh, so yeah, the Brave Two. That was a really hard album. Uh, that was it's still hard, and we're already done with it. All the work's been done, but it's not done because we still have to promote the album. We still have to get it out, and the only way we can do that is by us creating all different kinds of content to reach all different people. Every post that you post, that doesn't mean the people that follow you are going to see it. You have to post like a million times and create all this different content from scratch. Like, I wish I can get, just get on here and be like, hey, buy my album, and that's how that works, but that's definitely not how it works. I hope you guys have heard the album. I hope you're listening to it. I hope if you can't afford it, you, can, you do buy it. Uh, number one independent album in the country over all these other big artists. That would be so huge. And it's not been done very many times independently. And I keep saying that me and Tom together are the biggest independent artists together. And I really do mean that. Um, and I will be doing a, a video about numbers to explain why I'm saying that. I'm not just saying that because it's my opinion. I'm saying it because of the numbers. The numbers uh, make it a fact, not an opinion. Um, now, I know everyone's got their favorite artists also. There's a lot of great artists, independent artists, you know what I'm saying? But right now in this time, in this day and age, this the numbers that our last album did and the numbers that this album is doing is no independent artist that's out right now is touching those numbers. And it has a lot to do because there's two of us. And I think uh, to grow as an artist and to grow independent lanes so we don't have to sign to these labels like I have never done and Tom will never do is by doing projects with other independent artists that are in your same uh as big as you or maybe they're a little bigger than you or maybe a little smaller but like around the same as you and grow and and, and commingle your audiences together um oh 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 shit hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on So wait, so I can pin that comment, but hold on. I see that I'm seeing this guy. Hold on guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Suck on my butt, hold on. God dang it. And so. I don't know if you, is the comment pinned, guys? Oh, it is pinned. I think it's pinned. Is the comment is the comment pinned? Do you guys see a pin? Someone let me know if you see a pin. It's there, yes? Woo! <laughs> okay, so that is oh shit. Almost dropped my freaking 40 ounce of water. All right, the comment is freaking pinned. That is the link to the album. Go buy it on iTunes and Amazon. Now, people, I'm not like, just go buy our album. Everyone's got money. I understand that people, some people don't have money. I was there for 98, 99% of my life, okay? Didn't have money, broke, uh, check the check, uh, didn't know what I was gonna eat, homeless, uh, been through all that. I understand. If you can buy the album, buy the album. You're supporting independent artists, and you're not just supposed to support an independent artists. You're supporting Adam Calhoun, myself, that's me, American motherfucker, and Tom McDonald, who, yes, is Canadian. Tom is Canadian. But guess what? Tom lives in America. He's been here for 10 years. He pays American taxes, and he doesn't just pay a little bit of American taxes. He pays a shit ton of American taxes. Uh, and his whole family's here. Um, just like a lot of people who have come from all other countries and came to this country to make a living, live here, fly the American flag, and love this country. So I'm, I don't care if Tom's Canadian and was born in Canada. You know what? He can't run for president, but I can. Okay? That's about it. Tom can't run for president, but he can do everything else. And he fucking loves this country. I've seen him tear up about talking about it. Uh, and I've seen people say some nasty shit on the internet 
but I also see way more people who show that man love for what he's doing. I'd rather take a Canadian who's here in America that loves this country over any other person that would rather spin on and burn the flag and, and not give back to veterans and not give back to their community and just be an ungrateful, white, privileged liberal who thinks... You know what I'm saying? Does, do you guys understand what I'm saying? I hope you do. So the link is there. If you do have the money, go buy it because you're going. You're just. You're not just supporting some independent artists. You're supporting Adam Calhoun and Tom McDonald. The two. The two guys. I was talking about Trump before Trump was president. I don't know how long. How many people are in here that have been following me since back in the day? You're talking like 2016. 2015 even maybe and I was saying Trump was going to be president I was saying this before anybody I was making videos about it viral videos they were shared all over the internet my Facebook was going crazy and I wasn't just talking about Trump I was talking about how it is being a dad and, and raising kids and I was talking about the differences of um, kids now to how uh, it was when we were kids things that we used to be able to say that no one got offended by now you say anything and everybody's offended by it uh, I made, I was making all these videos seven, eight years ago. I didn't see any of these, these other internet. I didn't, there was no other internet people making these videos. If you've been around and watched me for seven or eight years, you guys know the old videos that I'm talking about. I didn't see any of these guys. A lot of these guys just latched onto this and were like, oh, this is an easy way to get views or money or whatever. I was just some guy working at a plant and I was talking what I thought was the truth. And it turned out to be the truth, and Trump was the shit. And now I see all these other people being like, oh, I'm a freaking patriot. You're a Bro, shut the fuck up. I've been working my ass off and talking about pro-American shit for, since I've been on the internet. Period. Y'all are my sons. Not you guys in these comments, not not the people who are support, but just some of these people who are, I see these comments. I'm not talking about any creators or anything like that. I'm talking about comments that I see. Like, shut the fuck up, right? You're probably a registered Democrat. Um, anyways, sorry. Sometimes I go off on a little bit of a rant. Uh, I would love to run for president. And honestly, I know that sounds crazy. Like, yeah, I'll run for president. I really mean it. Uh, 2028. I said I was run 2024. Obviously, that's just not. It's not not going to happen. I would. I would love for Trump to be president again. Uh, I would love for Trump to be president again and not have to deal with all the bullshit. What happened? The 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 vid. You know the the disease. The, the all that bullshit and like no interference. Let the man do his job and 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 the economy, gas prices, jobs, everything. Let's see what he can do without you guys throwing a wrench in that shit. Uh, I don't really like to speak about politics anymore because some people made it kind of corny to talk about uh, politics. I was just talking about it because it, it was what I believed in and 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 uh, it's what I went to work for every day and, and for this country, for America. And don't get me wrong. I love this country and the people in it. I do not and am not for our government the way that our government is being ran now. Um, and sometimes I do think, do any of these politicians give a shit about us? But anyways, I got a lot of thoughts going on in my head. If, the, if you guys can see the link here uh, in, if you can see the link there and you do have the money, Go buy the album. You're supporting. You're supporting two guys that actually give a fuck and are trying to make a difference. And also, not just a difference for ourselves and our bank accounts, uh, a difference for the artists that are coming behind us. We're trying to make a path, right? Like, and my bank account. You know what? Fuck it. If I lost everything, everything, all the shit that I've worked for for the last seven years on social media, and I lost it. I would literally go straight back to work. That's it. Why? I, I mean, I worked from 15 to 37 in, in, in fucking labor, physical labor jobs, period, union. That's all I know. If I, if, if I lost 
everything that I earned in the last seven, eight years, I would just go back to work. You know? That's another thing that's important to do when you have these platforms. Uh, I've shaved my beard now twice. One time I raised money for a little girl with cancer who is now cancer free, not because I raised money for her. She just beat it. Uh, her, her name's Harper. She's 10 years old now. Uh, she was four at the time when she had bone cancer. She's 10 years old now. She's a cheerleader, stuff like that. Really cool. Uh, I shaved my money uh, to raise, I shaved my beard, I'm sorry, I had to raise money for vets. Last year from the Brave One, um, we took a bunch of copies that uh, that we had left and we s took a portion of the proceeds and donated like 70, I think it was 72,000 to a veteran organization. And we, Tom did fucking a tremendous amount of research because like I said, a lot of these organizations, they take the money that you give them and, they, and that goes into paying all their employees and shit. It doesn't go to helping the people that need the help. Um, me, I don't, I'm not, I'm, you guys know me. I'm more like a bull in a China shop. I'll run through a wall and I'm, I'm, I'm a hard worker and research isn't my thing. Uh, my thing is I'd rather do research on the person and say, hey, this guy needs this. And, and hopefully, you know, if he needs a car to get to work or he wants to sell it and he uses that money for whatever, hopefully I find the right person uh, that's a veteran that could help them get back on their feet. I'd rather help that guy than some organization and, and the person that needs it doesn't even get the help. You understand what I'm saying? I'm saying a lot. And I want to make it perfectly clear. If I want to say somebody's name, that's a particular person, I'm going to say their name. Throughout my career, I've made, I've had diss tracks. I've said people's name. Uh, I have videos on my YouTube that I have that I've said people's names. Um, through this live, I'm not talking about any creator or any anything. What I'm saying, I've been saying the same shit since I came on the internet about Trump and about our country and things like that. When I started, I didn't see anybody else doing that. I didn't. Not on Facebook, not on any, not anywhere. People thought I was crazy uh, to think that Trump was going to win. Now I see all these people. And when I say people, I'm not talking about creators. I see all these people that just jump on that bandwagon and, and they try to make videos about it and stuff like that just to get views and stuff like that. And, and it's like, and they, and, and I don't know. It's like, and then if the next big thing comes, they probably will jump on that. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking, sticking with what I've always done. And that's what's got me here where I'm at. Um, and like I said, if I want to say somebody's name, I'm going to say it. So I don't know. Some, sometimes I guess some of these people think I'm talking about them. I don't even know who they are. I'll, I'll get these little DMs or, or screenshots. And I'm like, who the fuck? I don't know who the fuck that is. Who that, some random person commenting. Uh, again, I am venting right now and trying to express to you guys a lot of things. But the most important thing is I love my country. I am an American. I am an American native. I actually have a whole bunch of, um, for the apparel, I have a whole bunch of stuff coming out that says American native on it because it's what I am. I was born here all the way back to my, I mean, before the Revolutionary War, my family's been here. So yeah, I'm an American native, um, period. Um, I'm trying to see if some of these comments, these comments are wild too, because I can only see some of them. Some of them are awesome. And some of them are like off the wall. Someone said, say my name. It said, Adam, I, that's all I saw. Um, here's a very important thing I want to express right now to you guys. The Brave 2 has my best, and I hate when people are like, oh, that's my best work. The Brave 2 period has my best verses I've ever written and rapped on it, period, ever. It's my best verses I've ever wrote on it. If you listen to the singles that we've dropped, yes, they're political kind of songs, and I don't really enjoy writing political songs. I know people like to get, need to hear them. and uh, But I grew up listening to rap when it was just hip-hop and rap, and it was, it was a whole different scene. Um... 
I do enjoy putting them out and seeing the people's reactions and seeing people, the pride in people. But if you listen past those singles that we put out and listen to the album, it's called The Brave 2, and you go and listen to that album, that is a hip-hop, rap, aggressive album. And it's got my best verses that I've ever wrote on it. The link is right there. Is the link still right there, guys? Let me know. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hit that link. Go buy Go buy The Brave 2. Buy it on iTunes. Buy it on Amazon. Make us the number one in all genres. All artists. We beat all of them. Let us do that. I'm telling you. I'm, Tom's going to really... If that happens, Tom's going to release 10 unreleased songs and I'm going to give my Cadillac to a veteran in need. That's what's going to happen. Um, also every year, uh, well, not, not every year, last year, me and Tom raised money together. The year before that, I raised money on my own. Tom does a lot of stuff on his home, but I'm saying right now, Tom, I don't know if you're listening, but I would like to also donate money from this album period to the same veteran uh, organization that you researched before. I would love to do that as well on top of that. Um, and people could probably be like, well, why veterans? Why veterans? Well, uh, half the people that work at my company are veterans. Um, I always have spoke very highly about the veterans because I've no I noticed throughout face my Facebook history from seven years ago that these guys kind of get sh no not kind of these guys get shit on. Uh, you know they go and they fight these wars. A lot of them that we don't even know what they're for, or what the main thing is. But these guys sacrifice their lives, their bodies their limbs, their friends, their family, they're, they're away from their family. And uh, they come home and, and they can't get a job, some of them. Uh, they can't get any proper medical attention. And if they're suffering from some type of mental illnesses, uh, they, 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 they feed them a ton of pills, uh, which is not gonna help the problem. So why veterans? Because we need to start taking care of our own people. Uh, uh, why are we keep giving billions of dollars to Ukraine. Why do we care about the Ukraine war? Because in America, these politicians, there's obviously something that they're connected to that, that we're giving billions of dollars to their people to fight their to, that war that's not ours. Uh, but we have homeless. We have our homeless. We have our poor. We have our veterans who are uh, that, that need help and, and jobs and housing. Um, we have illness and sickness in our own country. We have our own people who need help, but we just keep shoveling out money to these other countries. And sometimes, no, not sometimes. I wonder why, why, why? Why don't we shut everything down and take care of our own country before we start going back out there and trying to help all these other countries? So, yeah. Yeah. And you'll catch me a lot doing this, guys. I'll be talking, and then and and then and I'll I'll shoot to a, a another topic because I'm 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 live right now, and I can't read any of the questions you guys are asking me because they're coming by so fast. And um, yes, I'm sitting in my bathroom <laughs> because because uh, well because uh, that's where a man does a lot of thinking and and the garage and that's the, sometimes the only place a man has privacy and 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 it's it's a nice bathroom i have a couch in my bathroom i have a, I have a couch in my bathroom um my my master closet with my american onesies in there margie's closet's actually not a mess today not bad march um there's the his and uh, uh, her sinks around the corner. And then on the other side of the wall is, is the actual bedroom. You know, when I bought my first, it wasn't always like this, guys. I started off in the basement with my son at my brother's house. Uh, no car, no license, suspended license. Fucking take the train to work every day, the L, into the Chicago uh, most of you guys know this shit, though, if you've been following me for long enough. Um, started dating Margie. We got a duplex. That was a shithole. That's where I made my first viral video um, on accident. I was on, a, on like a, a, and some old shitty Android. I, 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 I didn't have credit, so I had to have a pay month-to-month -month cricket wireless uh, uh, phone. 
Um, and I just kept working. I just kept working and I didn't have no excuses, man. I use excuses my whole life. Um, you know, my dad wasn't around or, oh, I was treated wrong. Well, fuck that. I had to man up sooner or later and going to prison and coming home and getting custody of my son, that changed my life. Uh, marrying Margie changed my life and having my daughter changed my life, but it's, it took a long time to get here. Um, uh, and we're here and, and I chased a dream and Margie pushed me to chase it. And uh, most people chase their dreams and don't make it. There's a very slim chance that you guys will make it if you're chasing your dreams. But I will say this. If you don't give up and you speak that shit out loud and you believe in yourself and you go all and you're willing to lose everything. And I mean everything. I mean everything. If you're willing to go further than everyone else and lose more than anyone else, you will fucking make it, dog. And I'm not trying to be cheesy or anything like that. You will make it. Um... It's emotional, you know? I try not to get emotional, but life is a, a... You just never know how far you can go or how much potential you have. Um, and I don't have anyone else. We don't have a label. We don't have our shit on billboards unless we pay for it, right? We don't have our shit like all over the internet unless we put it there, right? We don't have these people that do that for us, so we only have you to ask. And there's a link right there and you can go buy the album on itunes amazon and make us number one and keep us at number one and we'll hold down that number one spot and that is for you guys and that's from you guys that's it there's no one else to ask we're all alone here we're all alone here there's no label that just puts it all over the radio and puts it all over everywhere where you can't go anywhere without seeing it you know i can only ask you guys um, and again, this isn't just for me and Tom. This is, we're trying, we crush everything and we break through all this stuff. We're blazing a path for the guys coming behind us so they don't have to sign their life and their soul away to a record label. Is that great? Come here, babe. Hey, come here. You want to see my daughter, guys? Yeah. You want to see? You want to see? You want to come up? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. What do you think? I wish I could read the comments. See? I love you. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Say ready. 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 <laughs> uh, this is my daughter, Gray Millie Calhoun. And uh, she is insane. I have a four wheeler that's hers four wheeler. I brought it. It's a funny story. You want to go? Yeah. Go ahead. Go. Get out of here, punk. You going night night? Uh huh. Okay, give me a kiss. Can I have a kiss? I love you. Can I have a hug? Give me a hug. Oh yeah, give me a hug. Give me a hug. I see you in the morning, okay? Okay? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Go. I see you tomorrow, okay? I love you. Uh, yeah, her name is Gray Millie Calhoun. I bought Margie a four-wheeler because our driveway is like a quarter mile long. A little less than that, but close. And uh, Margie never uses the four-wheeler, but it's so funny. I bought that four-wheeler and every single day when it's nice out, that girl only wants to be on the four-wheeler and in the side-by-side. -side, and that's what I do with her every day. Uh, got really lucky. Got really lucky. But she's nuts. All she wants to do is go fast. Should have named her Ricky Bobby Calhoun. Great. Um, 
Yeah, all she wants to do is drive fast. All she wants to do is run. All she wants to do is play outside, throw rocks. And she's, I don't want her to be a tomboy, okay? I don't want her to be a tomboy, but I don't want her to be scared, uh, little, you know. She's funny. Ricky Bobby, shake a bake. Momo. Momo. She doesn't want to go to bed. This is a daily struggle for us to get her to go to bed on time. Um, but yeah, there's no one else for me to ask, guys. You guys is who I ask. No, who else am I going to ask? Hey, record label. Hey, record executives. Can you promote our shit for us? No. The link is right there. Buy that freaking thing. And if that's another thing. If you can't afford it, I get it. I understand. That's why it's on streaming services. That's why we spend, me and Tom spent... A lot of money on production, music videos, and things like that for you guys to be able to enjoy that uh, as well. So I get it. I understand. But if you can't afford it, buy it. It's worth it. It's a badass album. And if you listen to that album past the political songs, I mean, the political songs, in this day and age, in this climate that we're in, I think people should know what's going on. You know, and, and they feel some type of way and they and they like hearing those songs. But I, like I said, I, I, I lean more wanting to make rap songs. And if you listen to the actual album, it is a rap album and it is dope. And it's hard to, it's it going to be hard for anyone to compete with those verses that are on that album. I wish I can read the comments. I don't know how to slow the chat down. What do you guys... Want me to do? I don't know how to slow. I can touch the screen right here, and like it just goes, goes, go. I mean, I can. I don't know how to slow it down. I'm gonna have to grab her. Okay, she's gonna start crying. Greg, it's time for bed. You got. It's time for night night. Come here, you little stinker. I got you. I got you. Yes, yes, take it. It's okay. It's okay. Say good night. Say good night. Say good night. Good night. Give him knuckles. Give him knuckles. Give him knuckles. I love you. I love you. Dada. So yeah, Trump 24, Adam Calhoun 28. Uh, and I know that sounds crazy. Like, how the, f you, how, dude, you can't run for president. Yeah, okay. They said I couldn't do a lot of shit. Uh, <laughs> they said I couldn't do a lot of stuff. And I know that sounds crazy. Like, run for president. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's going to take a half a billion dollars to run for president. So if you run for president, they got all these donors right? They donate 50 million, 70 million, 20 million, 80 million, 100 million, 150 million, whatever, all these hundreds of millions of dollars they end up collecting to run for president. Don't ask me why it takes that much money. I don't know why. I guess for marketing, for going all around the country, for buying out all these arenas and packing more people. And, and, and I don't know. I, 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 that's, that's the budget, half a billion. But they take it from donors. So if you have donors that give you money. Those donors have special interests. So when they say, hey, you know, make sure you kind of, you kind of have to listen to what these donors are saying because they're the ones who got you in. But if I, if my donors are the American people, spent a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars, whatever, and I can get up there in, in a number to actually put on a race and run against these people, then I owe my allegiances to the people, not to some fucking donor. And if I was president, I would die for my people. They would have to kill me from stopping me, uh, preventing me to do the right thing for the people, our people, not these other countries and these other people. Uh, someone said something about 
Oliver Anthony, uh, he wrote a, I'm gonna try to, I, I think I slowed it down a, a tiny bit. Uh, Oliver Anthony, he wrote a once in a lifetime song. I, I don't believe in remixing that, that specific song because it's so beautiful and you know, that dude, the way he does it and sang it and every, like, I don't, I wouldn't touch it, me personally. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can slow this down again. Am I good with Up Church? Yeah. So I, why do people ask that? As far as I know, yeah. Have you guys know something that I don't know? Um, JK Bros in the house. I think that was them. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Calhoun McDonald, 24. I don't know if Trump or uh, uh, McDonald, Tom McDonald can run because... Um, he's Canadian. He was, you have to be American born. So I don't know how that works. Cause if, if I was president and I got capped, if they domed my ass, he'd be vice president, which made him president. And I don't think you can do that as, as, uh, if you're not born in this country, even though he is an American, I think you have to be born here. Kind of like Schwarzenegger. He was governor, but he can't be president. Ah, the Vivek guy for president? I don't know if any of these guys actually give a shit. You notice how they're all really good at talking? There's a reason for that. They're like used car salesmen. I think they're all full of shit. I would be a, I would be a great president. You know why? Because I would just, I would make mistakes. I would say the wrong shit. Uh, I would probably cuss like I do. Um, but all my intentions would actually be for the people. That's it. For our people, not the people of the world, our people. Yes, do I have sympathy and things like that for people of the world? Yes, of course. But the only way we can help other people is by helping our people first. JK bro, spam him. I think he is blind. I am not blind. These comments are fucking hauling ass. Someone said, church was talking crap about Tom, not you, though. Guys, like I said before, I don't sit my ass on the internet all day long and see what's going on and shit like that and, like, who's doing what. I I have... I have... I, I don't know what to say to you guys. Like, I, I have other shit that I do. Like, my family, you see my daughter? That's not the side. Just don't just spend that five minutes you just saw with her. I'm not on the internet all day long fucking seeing who's doing what. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know that church, I've never said anything bad about him. And I've never, I, I, I've never heard him say anything bad about me. Um, so for everyone asking if we're good, unless you guys saw something that I didn't see, then I don't know what the you fuck you're talking about. My daughter's crying because she doesn't want to go to bed. I can hear her through the baby monitor. Yeah, we got up here to 12, almost 1,300 people watching. That's cool. We started off, it was going slow. Uh, RFK Jr., I don't think he'll win just because of his voice. I know it's like a disease that he's acquired over the years, and he, he talks kind of weird, but uh, I don't think he, I think he's full of shit, too. I think all these guys are full of shit. The only one that I don't know if he is full of shit or not is Trump. I don't know. I don't know. I used to think he wasn't. I would like to think the way the way that Trump makes Americans feel like proud and shit like that. And see, I think people think all Trump supporters are like hillbillies with beards that drink beer with no teeth that are cut have a cousin uncle and and are inbred. Like that ain't it, dog. There's blacks, Mexicans, uh, uh, rich ass white people, rich ass black people, rich ass Mexican. I mean, there's people of all walks of life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, bro, we coming for ribs, bro. Okay, bro, we coming for ribs, bro. I saw the JK bros, I saw them. Uh what are my thoughts on God given rights stepping on? I don't know what that just said. What are my thoughts on God given rights on stepping on something at the border? Here's what I think about the border. I don't know what your question was because I can't read these fucking comments. Uh, the border. 
Shut the border down. Shut that fucker down. Shut it down. If you want to come into this country, come through the legal port of entry. Just like every other country in the world. Every other country in the world, you got to enter legally through the port of entry. Why the fuck is our country the ones that's like, oh no, everyone just come on, come on in, come on in. No, come to this country legally. Like everyone else, well, I shouldn't say everyone, like a lot of people have and made lives for themselves and, and shit like that. Come to our country legally. I don't understand. I can't just go live in England. It just, I just can't. That's, that's not how it works. Someone said, do I believe in Jesus Christ? <sighs> that's, too, that's a very difficult question. I know it's a yes or no question. Yeah, I believe that Jesus Christ uh, existed and was a person. I believe in God. Uh, I believe that God created this earth and everything in it, including everyone here watching and myself and everyone in this whole entire world. God. I pray every single day on my hands and knees. I pray to God. I don't, I don't uh, consider myself a religious person that is um, in a religion like Catholic or uh, like Catholicism or like Protestant or Lutheran or, you know, Baptist or any of these religions. I don't conform to a religion. Um, everyone believes that their religion is the correct religion. Their book is the correct book. I don't get into all that shit. I believe that there's a creator and I believe in God. I don't, it's not like some alien creator. It's God. God created this world and everything in it. Um, hold on. Oh shit, I was way to come. Someone said Jesus is God. Amen. When is the out country album coming out? When I have time, man. Uh, someone said Joliet. Joliet. Damn, bro. These comments. I'm getting a lot of comments. Would you work with so-and-so? Would you work with so-and-so? Oh. JK, bros. Where'd that go? You have nice eyes, bro. You have nice eyes, bro. I, re I read everything you guys type in, in your accent. Uh, people ask me, would you do a, 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 a feature with this person, a feature with this person? The only, I, now in my career, no. I won't do features with damn near anybody unless they're already my friend. And I don't want any more new friends. I don't want any more new friends. The friends that I got, uh, Demon Jones, you know, Tom, um, you guys know. All the guys that, I, that, that Jelly wrote, like just all the guys that you've seen me around. Those guys, yeah, uh, that's it. No, nobody knew, no way. I'm done with trying to have new friends that are artists or musicians, rap, whatever. I'm not. This this industry is cutthroat, brutal, uh, fake as fuck. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, features with me are, are are over with unless it's somebody that I've 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 known and had a relationship with and spent time with and they've been around my family and that's that's what a feature is. A fee I don't care about fucking you could offer me a million dollars, I ain't doing it. Unless I know who you are, I ain't doing it. Is Jelly signed? Yeah. Jelly is signed. But what does that I mean yeah, he signed, but you guys don't know what kind of deal he got, right? Uh, he got a, you know, well, I ain't going to speak on what he got, but he's, Jelly Roll's, I'll say this, Jelly Roll, if I call Jelly Roll and say, hey, Jelly, uh, would you hop on this song for me? He has the, um, he has, what is it called? Creative Control which he's able to do. 
Yeah. Jelly's one of the most solid dudes I've been around. Um, he's always kept his word to me. That's rare. When am I moving out to California? Uh, Nevuary 23rd, 2000 and Nevu, never. Dusty Lee is my boy. I would do a, I would do whatever with him. Smash the like button, guys. Let's go. Smash the like button. Does that do anything? If you guys smash the like button, does if you if you smash it, does it do anything? If you guys smash <laughs> smash the like button, um, Dax was uh, Dax was cool to work with. Very interesting guy. Very interesting fellow. Um, uh, I met him when the first time I met him is, is when we shot our music video. Uh, very interesting dude. Um, I got nothing bad to say about him. Really talented. Uh, okay, now, why are we all gathered here today, dearly beloved? Because that link that is right somewhere on the screen, click it, and if you can't afford it, go buy it. Go buy The Brave 2. Go buy that freaking album and play it till your neighbors have memorized it. Okay? Uh... Go buy The Brave 2. Go download it. Make us number one in all genre, guys. We are so close. It's almost Thursday. If we can hold that spot down until Thursday, we will be the number one in all genres album on Billboard, period. Like, that's very, very, very rare for independent artists to do that. Do you understand? Smash that link and go buy that album if you can afford it if you cannot afford it god bless you i hope times get better i have already been through well i hope i don't have a lot more hard times to go through because the hard times that i went through almost broke my ass and almost killed my ass uh so but I, what i'm trying to say is i've been there and i understand and that is why again me and tom put so much money in production and videos and put them out for you guys to see and watch and listen to and you can stream it on any streaming platform it's out there uh, if you can't afford it and you're crazy buy it on fucking Amazon and iTunes someone said not our birthday I keep seeing every once in a while I will see a a a comment from the JK bros Uh, something about demons. Me, Dusty, and Demon are going on tour next year. Uh, I, I didn't go on tour this year. I wanted to stay home with my daughter and my family, my son, Margie. Um, uh, I also told Demon that I would do an album with him because I love him so much. He's my brother. He's the, uh, out of everyone I've met in, in this, uh, this torturous industry of music and entertainment demon is my closest i believe f brother i spent the most time with him on the road i spent the most time with him speaking um i've had the most conversations with him about life family he 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 when me and margie got married he did uh the ceremony demon he did the ceremony, and he also stood up at my wedding, and he gave the prayer for dinner. Uh, Demon Jones, um, more people need to know who Demon Jones is uh, because of what he stands for. It's very rare in these days. Ronnie Radke is awesome. I love Ronnie. I've never met him in person. I spoke to him on the internet, um, and I think he's funny. And uh, slow down, slow down, slow down. I thought you.
Hold on. Yo, these comments, bro. Someone said, who is Demon Jones? Go, go search him. Have I worked with Cole Ford? He was on my last solo album, um, my last solo project that I did, Country Rap Tunes. How's Mike? If you're talking about my neighbor, fuck that guy. Titties. Detroit, I see you. I don't know why keep, people keep saying Kid Rock. Funny story about Kid Rock. Not funny, kind of sad. Uh, we wanted Kid Rock on this project. And, and <laughs> the craziest thing is, is we wanted him on the song American Flags, which is right now the biggest song off the album and would have been his biggest song in the last fucking decade, I think. Um, we don't have any confirmation that he ever received it. We, we emailed his people and sent it across the people that we're supposed to send it to. He probably gets sent songs every fucking day and probably thought whatever to this song, but he made a brutal mistake by not getting on the song because it's a huge song. Um, so yeah, and to work with independent artists and, and he's all about America and all that shit, that, 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 that would have been, a, should have been a no brainer for him. Um, titties so yeah that didn't happen the kid rock joint didn't happen did tom grow a beard because i had a beard no i think we were he's just sick of shaving because we were done with our project and videos and all that shit he shaved by the way he's baby face again Hi, right, boys and girls. Podcast? Okay, podcast. I have the green room done. The podcast room is done. You guys might have seen it on some of my YouTube videos. Uh, the, 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 what's it? Media room's done. Like the, it's like the room before the podcast room. I just have to have time. Is Tom Canadian? Yes. I don't know why Tom being Canadian has... What What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Uh, yes. Is he live in Canada? No. Does he live in America? Yeah, for like a decade. Does he pay fucking millions of dollars in taxes every year? Yeah. He's American in my book. He ain't burning flags and, and uh, uh, kneeling and... and uh, uh, Voting for Biden, that's for damn sure. Titties, titties, titties. I just said it three times. Um, Where do I live? I live in New Lenox, Illinois. Uh, the, the, the town that I live in is called, home. The, the slogan is Home of the Proud American. Every single light pole, every single uh, pole in this whole entire town has a flag hanging from it. And I love it. I grew up here. I went to high school here. Um, all my businesses are here. Um, I, my how I live here. Everything is here. I keep it here in the community that I live, grew up in and live in. Are you going on tour with Tom? I highly doubt me and Tom are going to be able to pull off going on tour together. Uh, that's a lot. That's a big, that's a big... That's a big ask, guys. Um, you're talking to two guys who don't like going on tour, number one. And number two, that would be a very big tour, a lot of pressure, a uh, lot of uh, fucking... I mean, not that any of that's bad. It's just you have to be mentally prepared for that. Uh, and, you're t and when you don't want to be on tour, it's hard to get mentally prepared for that, if that makes any sense. I hope, I can, I hope I'm explaining myself as good as I can. It, it could happen. I'm not saying it, it can't, but, it, you know. Someone said, I'm 14 and you're my Eminem. That's what's up. So here's here's the thing about Eminem, right? You guys hear me dissing him, which he probably will never hear, and I don't give a shit. Uh, that's not, I don't really diss him. I just don't talk highly about him. Here's what I'll say about Eminem. Eminem is probably the dopest lyrical rapper that ever lived, okay? I am 43 years old. 
Eminem wasn't a thing when I was 13, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, listening to rap. There was no Eminem. I listened to black dudes from New York. That's the rap that I listened to. And a little bit of Goody Mob, I, that was my first, that was my second album I ever bought. That was my first album I bought by myself, my second album I ever owned. My first album I ever owned was Return to the 36 Chambers by Old Dirty Bastard from the Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, I'm saying this like a white dude, right? From the Wu-Tang Clan. Um, I listened, I grew up listening to straight up hood ass gangster rap and hip hop, okay? There was no Eminem for me. I didn't in get inspired to rap because of Eminem. Eminem is the dopest lyrical rapper that ever lived, but that has nothing to do with why I started rapping. Um, now people are like, yeah, but if it wasn't for Eminem, you wouldn't have the doors kicked down to where you could rap. That's not true either, because before Eminem, there was um, the Beastie Boys, uh, Third Base. Uh, is that what the fuck they're called? Who, who, who was it? Third Base. It's a Third Base. I don't know, Vanilla Ice, who, who I don't consider a rapper, but still, he's a white boy. He went out into the rap world and went diamond, 10 million record. What I'm saying is, I said it in the song. I said, I'd still be rapping if there never was an Eminem, and that's the truth. I, I love rap. Um, what the fuck is the name of that? I don't know. I think it's third base. Yeah, BC Boys for sure. I gotta fart, guys. Did you hear that? Hold on. Did anybody hear that? Oh, yeah, House of Pain. House of Pain, BC Boys, unfortunately, Vanilla Ice. Uh, and I think it was th third the three those three white boys from New York. No, I know who Rob Bass is. But anyways, whatever. I give Eminem his props because he's sick. He's lyrically f sick, right? But that's not why I started rapping. Now the kid said he's fourteen and I'm his Eminem. I can never be that great of a lyrical rapper. I think I'm a way cooler rapper than Eminem. Uh, my cadences are cooler, my style is cooler, but I can't rap like that. I, that's th th I can't rap all that f that fast and the, the the bending of the words and the double triple entendres and the just f insanity. When you listen to it, it's like, how the fuck did he do that? You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, there's there's my. Here's my rant on Eminem. All right, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and fucking smash that like button right there. That's where it is in mine. It's at 1776 right now, which was a cool year. But smash that like button and uh, Bobby Boucher that shit. The notifications... Uh, wait, oh, 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 oh. Third base. Richie and Pete, nice. Okay, MC Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was right. Third base. So there you go. Those guys, and I want to say one of the guys, the lead guy that's always been talked about from third base, I want to say he owned part uh the master of Nas's uh, Illmatic. I think he owned part of the masters for that album um, also. Everlast, House of Pain, again. Yeah, I don't know if that's true about the like thing. I don't know if you guys keep smashing that like button. If, that, if you guys hit it like crazy, I don't know if that shoots up the views or if it gets to more people. I don't know. 
I don't know who's new here in this live, but if you are new, there's a link. Can you guys see the link? If you can see the link, hit that link. And if you can afford it, go buy the album on iTunes or Amazon, The Brave 2 with me and Tom McDonald. Make sure you go buy that. We are trying to be number one in all genres. We are keep fighting back and forth with Zach Bryan. Is that his name? Zach Bryan? He's a country singer. Uh, we were number one, and then we went to number two, and then we went to number one. We keep going back and forth with him. We have to beat him, guys. We have to. And the only people I can ask to do that is you guys. We don't have a label to ask. We don't have PR people to ask. We don't have people blasting our shit all over the place. This is me asking you guys, go buy that shit. Uh, also, if we are number one, Tom is releasing 10 unreleased songs that he's never released before. No one's ever heard them. And I am giving my camo wrapped caddy away to a veteran not an organization i'm giving it to a person they can sell it keep the money uh hopefully they can get it on their feet if they need a car to get back and forth to work whatever the case may be someone in need can you guys see two live crew were black dudes not white dudes can you guys see the link let's see okay you guys can see the link great did we sell out of physical copies? Yes, that's twice in a row we've done that. We did it on the first album and we did this on, did it on the second album. And, okay guys, so I wanna, I wanna be very clear about this. Smash that like button, don't forget to smash the like button. I wanna be very clear about this. When I say that me and Tom are the, the biggest independent rappers in the industry, what I'm saying is us two together we are the big, when we're together, we are the big, we have the biggest numbers. And it's not by like a little, it's by a gigantic margin, a gigantic margin. Um, and I see people saying, well, what about Tech 9 or what about, uh, I don't fucking know who else is independent. That's like, these supposed to be these huge artists and shout out to Tech 9 because without him, he paved the lane for guys like myself. So that's another thing. I don't want to be, I'm not trying to be disrespectful in what I'm saying, but if you compare this album or our last album to Tech Nine's last album, it's not close, right? Uh, um, I don't know who the fuck else is these people say that are independent. Hold on, give me some names. I can't, I can't even see the fucking name. Anyways, what I'm saying is right now, for the last two years, me and Tom have had the two biggest independent albums. And that's, that's a fact. That's, and I'm going to do a video breaking down all the numbers by Nielsen SoundScan. That's what the industry uses to, for digital streaming, blah, blah, all that. For the last two years, me and Tom have had the biggest album in independent music. So when people are like, you guys aren't the biggest in independent artists. Yes, we are. Right now, in this time in, of history and music, we are. Um, our, al our two albums, you're going to see the numbers. And I'm not saying this disrespectfully. Without, Like I said, without Tech 9 there wouldn't be, uh, th we wouldn't be able to do this how we're doing it now, right? Uh, but times change. Social media changes. Things change. Uh, artists change. Um, the, the number one guy isn't the number one guy forever, right? Like, unless you're Jordan or Tom Brady. Um, but right now, as it stands, me and Tom are the, are together are the biggest independent artists. We have the biggest independent album. And that's not, be, that's because of you guys. That's because, that's be, this is for you guys. And when I'm saying this, I'm not saying this to discredit anyone who's came before us or any of the artists that you guys love, that I love, that I'm friends with. What I'm saying is hopefully what we're doing is raising the bar higher so that these guys coming behind us can cruise right in and take the and follow the, the blueprint that even I, I've learned a lot from working with Tom and, 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 and how much that we've, we've okay, I will say this, the, how much we've marketed this album and how many fucking videos I make every day on Instagram and I tell you guys to go buy this album, this live stream. I never have been live on YouTube ever except once the other day. And here I am again. 
the amount of, of content we've created for this album is fucking insane. Insane. It makes me kind of sick to my stomach, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, it's like, man. But if we don't do that, we can't be the biggest. We can't be the heard. We, we I need to do this to be heard, okay? And 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 I'm I'm sorry, guys, uh, that I if if you guys are frustrated with me or you're like, just make me laugh, clown. Um, I will get back to making you laugh, clown. Um, and that's another thing I'd like to say too. When all this is over with, with this album is over with, I need to take a break from social media. Uh, and I need to make a bunch of fun content with my son and I'm like the old videos that I used to make with my son and, and, and the um, uh, skits and, and stuff like that. Now I can use, um, I, I can have my daughter in them with me and Margie and like family, funny, you know, dad shit to make people laugh because I really do miss doing those kind of videos. The videos that got me to where I am today, that's what got me here. So, and I know when you get bigger, people are like, oh man, I miss the old guy. I wish he'd go back to what he used to do. I, I, I understand this. And I want to go back to the things that I used to do that got me here. So I'm not going to forget about that shit. Um, hold on. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? What did that say? I'm trying so hard to read this shit. Fuck it. I don't know, bro. Fuck it. Are, 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 are people saying mostly good stuff in the comments, I hope? I don't know. I hope people are saying mostly good stuff in the comments. I don't have moderators. I believe in freedom of speech. Uh, Oliver Anthony collab. I doubt that'll ever happen. I mean, the guy's in another stratosphere right now. What he did is never... I don't think has ever been done. He came out of fucking nowhere. He had 1,000 followers on Instagram. I don't think he even had followers on YouTube. He made that song. It was blew up all over the place. He's got over a million followers on Instagram. He just... That guy's got so much money coming to him for what he just did. And I don't even think he gives a flying shit about the money. Uh, I think he just really cares about getting his... That's his therapy, is his music. And, and you know what? He's so lucky because he made a song that he really loved that other people loved. Uh, a lot of my music I've made over the years, and I'm going to be very, very straight up and forward and honest with you guys right now because, I mean, that's just how I am. A lot of the music that I've made, I haven't, I haven't got any type of joy out of making it because I thought people wanted to hear a certain type of music from me. So I made that kind of music, right? Like I, I made that kind of music because that's what I thought people wanted to hear from me. And that, that's the kind of, that when I did that kind of music, I noticed it did better numbers and it performed better. But this whole time, I just want to make an album that I want to make, but it's not going to do good, but I'm still going to do it. I deserve to make an album for myself that is just shit that I really like. It's like, like, like I say, I'm not an artist. Like, I don't like these guys that get all into this art of like, like, oh man, I'm like, I'm such an artist and my music means so much. Like, I'm like a worker. I'm going to fucking bang out like, I have 12 albums in five years now, which is pretty solid. Uh, but I want to make an album that, that just for me, that like, I'm proud of that, that I'm proud of in a different way. Like, that's just stuff that I like. I don't care if no one likes it. I like it. Like this album I did with Tom, there's my favorite verses I've ever wrote are on this album. Um, I love to do that for myself on my own album that it's just like, it's just me versus me, right? But like when I work with Tom, it's me versus Tom. It's Tom versus me. We're sharpening each other and, and we're making, we're rewriting verses and we're, we're, we're giving it, we're, we're going to war. And the verses on this album are fucking insane. If you say that me and Tom McDonald can't rap, you're crazy as fuck and you don't know shit about rap. It, look past the singles that we dropped that are on YouTube and listen to the fucking album and you're going to hear some of the craziest, dopest verses, it, period. I don't care who your favorite rapper is. And I understand everyone's got their own favorite rapper, but you can't deny that. Why wasn't church at my wedding? I don't fuck. I don't know. I don't know. 
But yeah, I would love to do an album for me. Me versus me. And make my and force myself to sharpen my sword against myself and 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 just write a just a bad uh, gnarly ass uh, you know just like piece of art for myself even if nobody likes it you know i icp i don't know why people keep typing in icp that shit's a j fucking joke my thoughts on Roddy, Ronnie, Ronnie Radke. I think Ronnie Radke's hilarious. I like him. I like him. I like what he does in his music. Um, he's fucking super talented. Uh, yeah, I fuck with him. I've spoke with him uh, through DMs on Instagram. Very nice guy. And that's another thing. Everyone's got their favorite artist. If you're like, Upchurch is my favorite artist. That's awesome, man. That's why we make music. So you guys can pick your favorite artist. Uh, if you're like Struggles, my favorite artist. Jelly Rolls, my favorite artist. Broadnecks, my favorite artist. Uh, I don't know who. I don't know how many more. There's not a lot more out there um, that are doing shit. But yeah, whoever your favorite artist is, that's awesome. Like, that's your favorite artist. Um, my favorite artist is okay here you go well if i could do a if i could do a, a a verse a song with any rapper well there's like three of them but they're dead so those i can't use those so any rapper that's alive my i think my the funnest verse that i could probably or song i could do with another rapper would be 50. i really fuck with 50 a lot um that bad be if they're like yo Adam you could do a, uh, a song with any rapper right now that's alive who who would it be I would go with Fifty I just he's got kind of that I like that flow I got that aggressive flow uh, style and so does he I really fuck with that a lot um, um, my favorite rappers I I don't know who's on this live that's were here the other day but my favorite rappers are I'll tell you my top. Like six or seven. But first, The Brave 2 is out right now. Everyone's like, when's it going to be, Rabel? You could buy it right now. Hit the link. Go, make sure, Guys, if you don't learn anything from this fucking live, learn this. The Brave 2 with me and Tom McDonald are out, is out right now. And we're trying to hit number one. We are trying to do something in history that hasn't been done very often. An independent artist being number one in all genres, digital sales, everything. We're trying to do that. If you can't afford it, buy the album on iTunes or Amazon. The link's somewhere around in here. Hit that link and go buy that shit. If you can't afford it. If you cannot afford it, trust me, I fucking understand. Uh, and I'm going to say something to you. There's a lot of nights I, could, I was so broke that I had sleep for dinner. I was so hungry that I went to sleep for dinner. So I didn't have to stay up and deal with the hunger. Does that, does, does that, I don't know if that makes sense to you. I was so hungry, I just fucking took my ass to bed. So I can understand if people don't have the money to buy the shit. I really do. But if you do have the money, go fucking buy that shit. Um, yeah, we're number one right now on iTunes, but we keep going back and forth and fighting with uh, Zach Bryan. We were number two earlier. We just hit number one again. So we're trying to stay there and seal the deal. I need a break, man. I need a break. I need to stay away from the internet for like a fucking month to get my sanity back. Um, but I don't know how... I, there's a lot of people probably that are watching this live right now that they know what I meant by saying I was so hungry uh, and so broke that I had I had sleep for dinner. I was so uh, I was so hungry, I just went to sleep. So I didn't have to deal with feeling that hunger in my belly. Um, so if you can't afford it, I understand. But if you can, you go buy that album, The Brave 2, with Adam Calhoun and Tom McDonald. You buy that shit. Fuck yeah. That's what's up. And that is my best verses I've ever written to date uh, on that album. Um, now, my favorite rappers of all time. These are not the best rappers of all time. This, this is off of what I like. The style. Uh, the delivery. 
Uh, my favorite rapper of all time is the old dirty bastard. ODB, as you can see. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite rapper of all time. I love Cameron. Um, I love Biggie. I love Kanye. Uh, Big L, Big Pun. Um, Fifty. Everyone's always like, "No Pac, no Pac." Yeah, I like Pac, but like not as much as I like the guys I'm telling you about. Pac, there's like ten songs I love, love, love. Slept on uh, is um, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Fucking amazing, amazing. Uh, Freddie Gibbs, Benny the Butcher, Love Dipset. Uh, I love. Um, Outcast, uh, old school three six mafia. One album by Jay Z that changed my life it was uh, two thousand and one, the Blueprint two. Uh, yeah, the Blueprint two was in two thousand and one. That was Kanye's first verse he ever rapped that everyone heard, uh, and he made most of the beats on that album. That album changed my life. That album made me know, oh, I could be a rapper. Like, yeah, um, I got an East Coast style, an East Coast delivery, cadence, flow. Uh, that's how I rap because that's what I grew up listening to. Um, no Limit? No, nah, I mean, none of them guys are really great rappers, but fucking, they changed the game. There's Now, there's a lot of rappers that changed the game. Master P changed the game because what he did was he made a label and he was dropping all these every two... So back in the day, I don't know how many people on here and what the age group is on this live, but back in the day... Um, Every Tuesday, a new CD came out. So if you guys have heard the song Chrome that we, did, we, that we did in my verse, I'm like, every Tuesday, new CD out the plastic. That's what I'm talking about. Every Back in the day when they had CDs, every Tuesday, the new CD would come out. And Master P, every Tuesday, was dropping another artist from his label's CDs. And they were like, orange. Ghetto Dope was orange. They were like, orange, green, purple, like all different colors. And they were just super dope. Um, so Master P changed the game, 50 Cent changed the game, M changed the game, even though I don't fuck with M, you know, like, I don't like how, he, he's Ellen DeGeneres, I'm pretty sure, but he's the dopest rapper that ever lived, but I don't fuck with him, um, not because he's better than me, but I just don't, the way he talks, the way he moves, the way he's, like, such a fucking pussy, I just don't, I can't fuck with it, he is the best rapper probably ever that lived, though, um, M changed the game, 50 changed the game, Master P changed the game, Jay-Z changed the game. Kanye changed the game. Biggie and Pac, could, I would put them together, changed the game. Uh, Rakim changed the game. Big L changed the game. Run DMC changed the game. Beastie Boys changed the game. My hip-hop knowledge is insane. Uh, Outkast changed the game. Probably the best rap group. No. The best rap group of all time. Outcast. DMX changed the game. Uh, Dr. Dre wasn't, I mean, obviously he's not a rapper, but he changed the game. E40, nah. I'm so high, it's like my eyes were stitched together with stitches. Nah, like, no, nah, I can't fuck with E40. Like, my eyes were stitched together with stitches. I can't, nah, I just fuck, fuck I, I don't like E40. Someone said, make Adam lots of money so he can go away. <laughs> so somebody just said, make Adam lots of money so he can go away. Hey, listen. Adam was poor until I was around 37, 38 years old. Yes, Adam, me, made a lot of money. I don't need money anymore. This ain't about money anymore. This is about legacy. Why do you think that that I we've given back money after our albums are released? I've given back money from my apparel line. I've given... I don't even need to go all into that, but it ain't about 
the money anymore. This is about legacy. This is about having some young kids that's 12, 13, 14 right now saying, you know what made me want to rap? Adam Calhoun. Uh, this is about, this is about my, uh, what, what, or if I leave any type of impact on the independent game ever. That's what this is about. Nas was a really dope rapper. I was personally didn't like his style. It was too deep and like, like, but he had some really dope songs. Ether is probably the best. No, Ether is the best diss song of all time. I believe the song was called Backwards or Rewind or Revert. I don't know. He rapped the whole song from back to front, like in reverse. Super dope. Um, one mic. Um, I mean... Nas is a very talented, dope, lyrical rapper. Uh, he, him and there's like another guy named AZ. AZ is from New York. Uh, he rapped a lot like Nas. ICP is trash. Stop putting them in my comments, please. I don't know if that said Easy E or. I mean, Easy e wasn't like a dope rapper. He was just super cool and like a cool rapper, right? Like, cruising down the street in my six phone. <laughs> like, Easy e was like cool to listen to. It sounded cool. Uh, people keep saying Yellow Wolf. Uh, um, I don't. I personally don't care for Yellow Wolf, but I he's a fucking dope rapper. Little John, cool dude, trash, I mean, garbage. Kid G, no. Mortal Technique, rest in peace. Wait, am I thinking the right guy? Is a Mortal Technique like that? It's like that, that, that mask, right? That like, shit, is that a Mortal Technique? What the fuck? Hold on. I don't know. Fuck, these comments are fucking... Oh, yeah, it's MF Doom. Thank you. That's MF Doom. Mm. Rest in peace, MF Doom. Ice Cube, nah. Limp Biscuit was really cool. They had some really... Ba they had some bangers. Uh, like, but like, I didn't, uh, Fred Durst to me was a turd, but like, they had some cool songs, I'm not gonna, I mean, I, I can't be a hater, bro, I just can't, like, I can tell you, I don't like this motherfucker, but man, they make some great music, um, and like, yeah, Fred Durst just seemed like such a fucking tool, but man, he made some cool shit, really, I can't lie. What about Hos Hobson? I don't, I don't know any, I couldn't name you one Hobson song. J. Cole, uh, one of the greatest rappers to ever live. Onyx, uh, I mean, yeah, super hype. V very hype. Here, I'll just be positive. How about that? I'll just say positive shit about whoever you ask me about. Uh, Onyx, super fucking hype. Like, smash your face, lift weights to music, right? Like, super dope. Joyner Lucas, I don't like his voice. Super talented. NF, depressing. Uh, very good rapper, very talented, depressing though. ICP, trash. Young Buck, a legend from Tennessee, but other than that, not much. Andre 3000, one of the best rappers that ever lived. Too Short, garbage. LL Cool J, can't stand it. Lil Wayne, one of the best rappers that ever lived. Beastie Boys, super hard. Uh, this is coming in too fast. I'm missing them. Fuck. King Von? Not even on a list. Scarface? 
everyone has them in their top like 10, 15, 20. Uh, Scarface, Legend. Um, I didn't. I didn't really like any of his music. Oh, DMX, one of the best. Aaron Lewis, Legend. Big Crit, super dope. Ghostface Killer, fucking it's Wu Tang. What, you you can name anyone from Wu Tang, and I'm gonna fucking go crazy. J D Kiss, aha. Yeah, J D Kiss, fucking legend. Three Six Mafia, older shit, dope. Everlast, super talented. He went from rapping to playing the guitar and singing all them different songs that he had hits on. Method Man, one of the. Mm, I'd have to put him in my top 20, 15. Goody Mob, my fa my, my favorite group of, of all time. A heap of helping to fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and collard greens too big for my jeans. Smoke sneeze from under the grill that's on a pie. Ain't never had a lot, but thankful for the little that I got. Why not me? Fast food got me feeling sick. These crackers think they slick. Yeah, that's... uh. Good old fashioned soul food, all right. Everything is f no. I, I and people are gonna crucify me, crucify, crucify me for this. But I never, ever, ever liked Red Man, ever. Just didn't like it. Kid Rock, yeah, he's got a lot of cool songs. Chris Webby, I don't know who that is. Busta Rhymes. Old shit was dope, now overrated. Old shit was super dope. Mr. Pookie, I don't know who that is. Tech Nine is a, uh, is a, what's it, what do you call it? Like a pioneer. Cannabis, overrated. Vinny Paz, don't know who that is. Nappy Roots, gangster, super dope. Pop Smoke reminded me of 50 Cent. MGK, oh God, I want to punch him in his face. If I ever meet him, I will, but he's a super dope rapper. Pastor, Troy, Pastor Troy reminds me of my childhood, uh, riding around smoking weed in the car with my buddies. Most Def, I'd rather pick Common over Most Def or Talib Kweli over Most Def. Uh, Warren G, nah. Fabulous knockoff version of Jay-Z, but still dope. Are we really doing this? We're going to keep doing, we're going to, we're ludicrous. Cadillac grills, Cadillac wheels, took out the oil, my Cadillac spills. I mean, yeah, he had like two on fire years that were cool. Uh... Haystack, he can rap. He's a he's a big fat piece of shit, terrible human, but he can rap. Uh, Atmosphere, one of the fucking very few. I mean, he's an old school white boy dude's in his fifties now. Uh, Atmosphere, underground white boy legend. The Locks. So the Locks were consisted of. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. The Locks consisted of Jada Kiss. Uh, Styles P and I think Looch was it? Was it Looch? Am I set? Did I do it? Did I do it? Bubba Sparks, one of the most slept on rappers ever. People just said booty, booty, booty. Nah, uh, fucking Bubba Sparks, dog. Cassidy, really clever rapper, not marketable, too much of a battle rapper. Jelly Roll is a country singer now, but if you were going off rap, because that's what I'm doing, really, really, really talented rapper. Boozy, garbage. Uh, yeah, Luch, it was Luch. Or Sheik, Sheik, Luch, Luch, whatever the fuck. He's the third one. Kendrick Lamar, I can't stand him. Bubba K. Mathis, man. Yeah, Ritz, talented. Uh, super... Clever, double-time rapper, which I usually don't like, but I like his flow. You can understand everything he's saying. Uh, yeah, Ritz is dope. And I, I actually, I found a song with him. 
Vanilla Ice, trash, can, but he sold 10,000 fucking copies, so he did his Paul Wall, garbage, but he, super cool, always smiling, I would buy his album just because I'd support the dude because he's fucking always smiling, Paul Wall, I mean, never said nothing bad about nobody, Paul Wall. Logic, trash. He's always got to say that he's half black because he looks white and he has to, for saying the N word, N I G G A. I, I want to say it right now, but I don't want to get kicked off my live. I would normally say it, but. 8 Ball MJG, you don't, you don't want drama. What are they? Smacking. Uh, how's that song go? Uh, you a bitch. Nigga, you a bit Yeah, you know, you know the song. Yeah, Ape All MJG. Legends. Underground uh fucking legends. And, and they kinda had one they had a they had a a little bit run there. George Jones. We're not doing that. We're doing uh Project Pat. Project Peta AK forty seven to your liver. Uh Chameleonaire Garbo. Are you serious? We're doing rappers, guys, and you just put Chameleonaire? Are you fucking out of your mind? Are you out of your ever loving fucking mind, chameleonaire? Do you want me to smack this camera phone out of here? Samson, who the fuck is that? Idea? I know who Idea is. Dope. Idea is dope. Eco, I don't know who that is. Lil Kim, garbage. Twista, never. I fuck Twista. You can get a feature from Twister for like 12 bucks right now. I never liked Twister. It was just... Nah, I, 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 good job rapping fast. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. Someone said Samson. You don't know who Sam... I don't know who Samson is. What the fuck you want me to do? About? Dayton family? What? What do you know about the Dayton family? Get the fuck out of here. This is so cool. ASAP Rocky... Uh, Man, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Ferg, those dudes, they had a really cool style, man. Uh, uh, reminds me of a, a certain era, the, the super dope. Um, and then somebody said something whack as fuck after that. I don't know who uh, locks them, but this Ja Rule's garbage. NWA, I already said, they're, they're, I mean, they, they changed the game. Um, Blind Fury, he was a... He was a Blind Fury was the 106 and Park battle champion for like forever. Mob Deep, everyone knows the beat. Everyone knows the beat. Shook ones. Come on, man. You guys ain't gonna stump me on any kind of uh uh Bone Thugs, one of my favorites. Snow the product, I don't like female rappers. Action Bronson, he's half Cuban, half white, I believe. Fat guy that got in shape, can cook any fucking thing. Super dope rapper. He sounds like Ghostface Killer. Love him. Loonies didn't do enough. I got five on it. They didn't do enough. Do or Die, they didn't do enough. They have like three cool songs. Silk the Shocker, worst, one of the worst rappers that ever lived. Can't rap on beat. Nas, one of the top ten rappers of all time. I don't know who Necro is. I don't know if you're trying to make me say Necro. Uh, Public Enemy, eh, nah. Petey Pablo, come on, dog. He had no. No. Samson makes political rap. I don't. Okay, I don't. I don't know who. I'll look him up. I don't know who that is. Deb B E Spice One. Wow, you're going way back. What is on my damn chest? Oh, it's a... I didn't like it. Uh, iced tea. 504 boy. It's all because of you. I know. That's why I don't know. What's that song? How's that song go? And you try to know. I know the time. Oh, how's that first verse go off that 504 boy's uh, joint? Lupe Fiasco, hip hop head. <sighs> yeah, he's solid, solid, solid. Uh, 
but I like Royce to five nine better. I know him and Royce to five nine had butted heads. Royce would murder him. Cool C, I don't know who that is. Vinny Paz, don't know who that is. Pastor Troy, I already told you what I thought about that. All right, I'm done. I'm done with. The, we, I did it. I did it. You, you guys, the Fuji's. Uh, uh, Wyclef John is a genius. All right, I'm done. Let's go to something else. I'm going to get off here, actually. That's what I'm going to do. But before I go, guys, click the link. Do you, does, anyone, does everyone see the link? Does everyone see the link? Can, you, can anyone, tell, someone tell me where the link is? Can you see the link? Anyone? Anyone? Where is it? Where is the link? Top of the chat. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to get off of here. Before I do, smash that like button. That's free. You can do that for free. Smash the like button, wherever the fuck it is on this screen. Smash the like button. All right. I'm going to stay here for a couple minutes. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Smack it. You got to smack it. All right. Please, if, if you can afford it, click that link and go buy the album on iTunes or Amazon so we can get that number one. Again, if you can't afford it, I understand. And you can take my analogy that I used. Some nights I had sleep for dinner. I was so hungry I went to sleep. You can use that. That's yours. You can have it. I understand if people don't have it, especially with Joe Biden being the pr president, eggs being $17 for a carton, gas being 50 euros. I get it. If you can't afford it, you go buy that fucking album that me and Tom, two regular ass dudes that are just like you with a dream, that don't have no management team, that don't have no promotion team, that don't have no stylist team, that don't have no fucking nobody team, but our family helping us and pushing us and hoping that we do our best. That's it. Press that button, you go buy that fucking album. Make that motherfucker number one and make it stay number one. And uh, I don't take this shit for granted. And I tell you right now, if this shit all went away and no one gave a fuck about anything I said ever again, I will go right back to work. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to have you guys sit here with me. It's an honor to talk to you guys and see you guys when I'm on the road and hug on your guys' necks and sign shit and just talk to you. It's an honor that I ever made it this far with my career. It's a fucking honor. Um, I never sure as shit didn't think in sitting in a fucking prison cell, I never thought this was shit was going to ever happen in my life. It's a fucking honor. I don't take this shit for granted. It could all be taken away just like that. And I love you guys. You changed my life forever. You changed my family's life forever. You made it so I can provide for my family in ways that I, that I wasn't able. People, when I was growing up, I wasn't provided for, you know. We got by. But this is different. You guys changed my life. You changed my family's life. And forever I am grateful. Uh, forever I am I'm, 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 I'm amazed by what we've been able to create and the things that I'm still going to create. And, and, and hopefully you guys are still here to, to, to watch and to push me. It is a fucking honor. This is no joke. This is my life. And this is your guys' life. And hopefully all the content that I've made uh, up to this point, you guys have watched and then you have laughed. And I've shared, my, I've shared my wedding with you guys. I've shared my kids growing up. And um, you guys know everything about me. My, my wife, my, my story, my, my kids, my... Where I live, people know where I live. They show up in my fucking driveway every day. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's a fucking honor. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. It is mentally stressful. This is a hard job. I if working physical wears you out physically. But I'd rather be physically worn out than mentally worn out. I'm mentally worn out right now, but I'm still here fighting. And we're gonna finish strong. And I'm taking a fucking break. And I'm coming back with funny ass videos, podcasts, more music, and all that fucking good shit. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the second part a little bit more for myself, so I can enjoy it and not be miserable. You know, 
there's some, there's some miserable days that I spend, uh, you know, I post something, you guys don't like it that much, it fucking hurt, you know, it's, it's kind of like poison, like you post something, you're like, oh, why, why didn't I get the likes, that many likes, I'm talking about likes, I remember when I was talking about how am I gonna eat, you know, so this is just me talking and being real and being open with you guys, and, um, grateful man i'm grateful through all these years i found a part of myself and I, I pray that i find more of myself like i said uh that little girl changed my life my son coming home from the military helped me heal and mary and margie helped me uh, be where i am today uh, and all you guys have helped me so much uh with all the support and with all the just being here and, and, and rooting me on and showing up for shows and showing up, you know, for videos and, and, and coming and seeing me wherever I am and, 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 and you know, buying these albums and, 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 and it, it, this is not a me effort. Yeah, okay, cool, Adam. You wrote a few songs and put them on an album. You guys are doing the heavy lifting. You guys are the ones that are buying the shit. You guys are the ones that are taking the money out of your accounts. But just know that money that you're spending, we're putting it back into the shit that we're doing. And we're putting out these crazy videos that no one else is putting out. We're renting tanks to drive on top of it in a music fucking video. You know what I'm saying? Like we're, we're putting that back in for you guys to see us get bigger and better and, and go further. I can sit here and fucking talk all, all day long uh, about this shit, but... I could never do this with the, without you guys. And I, I hate these famous, and I am not famous. I hate these famous motherfuckers that get up on stage and they're like, I want to thank my fans first, motherfucker. I'm talking to 880 people right now and I'm talking straight to you guys. Like, thank you for changing my fucking life. It wasn't a record label that changed my life. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, some people that I don't know changed my life. You guys have followed my life for the last seven, eight years on social media. I've shared with you my whole family. You are not my fans. You're you are not you you're not my supporters. You guys are my people and I hope I, I hope I do a good job and speak well for you and I hope I hope I am something to look up to and, and I'm not always right and I'm not always gonna say the right shit. I'm not always fucking you know, I make mistakes and I'm human, but thank you and, and it's a fucking honor. So I'm gonna sign off right now and I'm gonna I'm gonna let the delay catch up. But make sure you click that link and you go buy the brave two and buy it on fucking Amazon and iTunes. Fuck it, buy it on both. And, and, and you get us to number one and keep us there. And I love you guys. And uh, I will do a live once from now on, from this day, I'll do a live once every two months. So I won't do another live on here for two months. But I will keep making videos for you guys. So I'm going to say, I'll see you later. Calhoun 2028, 100% for sure. I'm going to shoot for it. I'm going to try and I'm going to try for it. Why not? If Joe Biden can be president, anyone can be. I'm signing off, guys. I'm going to just let you kind of trickle out slowly. I love you. I can finally start seeing some of the people. Just random. I love you, too. Winston, God bless you. CJ Hanna, lo love you. Kevin, download it. Thank you. Shit. Steve, love you, man. Aaron threw up all the... Uh, I saw that. All right, I'm out.